Okay, welcome everyone to today's workshop um, about contributing to the WordPress training team. Um, my name is Courtney, and uh, this is brought to you by Learn WordPress. Uh, we have learning resources found at learn.wordpress.org. Um, so Learn WordPress is brought to you by the WordPress training team. Uh, we're um, a, a team of, of folks that uh, from all over the world. So globally, we volunteer to uh, make these learning resources for the rest of the WordPress community. Um, so this is basically like our mission. Uh, so the WordPress training team helps people um, learn to use, extend, and contribute to WordPress through synchronous and asynchronous learning, as well as downloadable lesson plans for instructors to use in live environments via learn.wordpress.org. And so when we, I wanted to clarify the lesson plans for instructors um, part here. Um, instructors also include meetup organizers. So if you organize a, um, a meetup, um, you are considered uh, an instructor, an educator, and you can use the resources on uh, Learn WordPress for your local meetup, for your local WordCamp. Um, and yeah, that's what these uh, resources are there for you to do with. Um, so a quick um, quick introduction to what Learn WordPress is, if you weren't aware. Um, so Learn WordPress is an educational website and initiative that seeks to be the definitive space for WordPressers across the globe to learn and teach about WordPress. Um, so the Learn WordPress website is where this content um, that the training team, that's where this content lives. So here's a screenshot here of the website, learn.wordpress.org. I, I'm sure I'm going to keep repeating that. It's going to be like drilled into your heads after this. Um, so uh, next, we're going to briefly go over the different types of content that you can find on the Learn WordPress website. So we have four main um, types of content on, on Learn. Um, oftentimes, you will hear someone just shorten it to, to say learn. So on the training team, we often will just say learn when we're referring to learn WordPress. Um, so on learn, we have uh, four types of content, lesson plans, tutorials, courses, and online workshops. And of course, as I mentioned at the beginning of this, uh, you are currently in an online workshop. So this is very, very meta right now that <laughs> we're talking about this. So the first type of content that we have uh, to share with you today are lesson plans. So these, as you see here, there's over a hundred of these teaching guides for facilitators, for educators, um, instructors, meetup organizers. Um, so these lesson plans are teaching guides for, um, for facilita facilitators to use while presenting at events. Um, or leading educational environments. So yes, you've, if you are an educator, you could use this in the classroom. Um, each lesson plan enables the teacher to lead 30 to 60 minute learning sessions aimed at clearly defined learning objectives. So lesson plans will provide objectives, prerequisite skills, um, readiness questions, the materials that you need. There's even notes for the presenter. Sometimes there are slides. Um, It'll be a lesson outline, exercises, assessments, and any additional resources that might be required to run the lesson plan. Um, if you want to see all of those lesson plans, um, oops, my keyboard went to sleep as I was talking, just a second. There we go. So lesson plans live on learn under lesson plans um, at that link I just shared. And next, we have tutorials. Tutorials are our next uh, type of content that are hosted on Learn. Um, tutorials are short, standalone videos, um, each around five to 10 minutes long. There might be some that are longer, but we try to keep tutorials short. Um, each tutorial addresses a single topic, and they're intended as how-to guides for WordPress. Each tutorial includes a video, a transcript of um, video learning outcomes, comprehension questions and any additional resources that are needed. And if you'd like to check those out, there's the link there. Um, I'll also be sharing this um, 
these slides after the uh, at the end here, uh, or when we post the recording. So you all these links will be included um, at the end. Um, all right. So our next type of content um, are courses. Now, courses are a series of online self-guided lessons that are created with the Sensei plugin. Each course consists of multiple lessons, which build up to an overall um, objective. Um, course topics will vary between basic WordPress usage, technical WordPress customization, and onboarding resources that are used for different uh, WordPress teams, um, contributor teams, you know, when I refer to WordPress teams. All right. Still have folks joining this a second. All right. And finally, the fourth type of, um, of content type we have on Learn WordPress are the online workshops, which you're sitting in right now. Um, so online workshops are almost daily uh, live learning sessions. So we try to also do these in all sorts of time zones um, to, to try to meet um, our contributors where they are. Um, so online workshops are a safe zone uh, where people can develop new ideas, explore issues, ask questions, you can network with other WordPress users over your shared interests, exchange theories, collaborate on work, engage in uncertainty, and yeah, just come as you are. Um, they are definitely safe spaces for you to learn. They are free for everyone. They're free and open for everyone. And as I mentioned at the beginning, we also record everything to, um, for folks to have access to this content in any time. Um, so if you go to um, the link for online workshops, you'll see this calendar that you see a screenshot of here. And like I said, we try to do these uh, workshops daily, if not multiple times a week um, in many different time zones. Um, and uh, we are always looking for new folks to do workshops. So if um, you have a topic you're interested in, um, well, I'll go over this shortly of how you can contribute um, because that's our next slide actually. Um, all right, so all about contributing to WordPress, the WordPress open source project. Um, well, we don't have time to go over everything about contributing to WordPress. Um, I also do have a, a previous workshop about contributing and I probably will do another one in the future. Um, but I also know that we all um, have some um, resources on learn about contributing in general. So please check those out. But um, if you're not familiar with the, um, the, all of the folks that contribute to WordPress. Um, so WordPress is made by a global community of people. Uh, this open source project consists of a, uh, you know, a global community of folks that collaborate and contribute to the project. Um, these volunteer contributors bring a variety of experience and skills, including development, design, support, security, training, <laughs> uh, writing, localizing, and translating, event organizing, and so many others. There's There are over 20 teams that contribute to, to WordPress. Um, and you can check out all those teams at make.wordpress.org. Um, and you can find a team that is you know, suited to, to your interests and your skills. But I'm assuming that folks are here today because uh, they're in, you know, curious about the training team and maybe want to contribute to the training team. And yeah, that's why we're here today. Um, but if you want to learn some basics about open source in WordPress, I also have a previous workshop on that. Um, and I'm going to share a link here. Um, I'm also going to do a live version of this workshop um, either, I think at the end of this month as well. So um, I'd love to see you there if you're interested in learning some more um, about open source and WordPress. Um, oh, something else I wanted to add about uh, the contributor community. Um, so the, yeah, oh, I have already mentioned this, <laughs> that the uh, community is organized into over 20 contributor teams. And of course the training team is one of them. Um, 
So next, we're going to talk about how you can contribute to the training team. And in turn, you'll be contributing to the wider WordPress open source project. Oh, we lost sound. Is that true? Are folks hearing me OK? OK. Hmm, interesting. OK, <laughs> sorry for that glitch. Um, but yes, thank you for letting me know when something happens. I appreciate that. OK, a little bit about the, uh, the WordPress training team. Um, so this here is a screenshot of the um, the training team blog, and that's found at make.wordpress.org slash training. There you go. And that's where we, um, you know, we post about like all our projects that are going on. Uh, you can find the training team handbook there and a lot about um, what's going on in the team. Um, we have three training team representatives, uh, Pooja, Destiny, and Ben. Um, so the, our team reps represent the training team to the rest of the WordPress project. They um, also ensure issues are raised and addressed as needed, and they coordinate cross-team efforts. Um, you can, of course, contact them in the Making WordPress Slack with any questions, but you can also post a message to um, to everyone in the training uh, channel if uh, if you so desire, uh, because the team is always there to help. Um, and I'll, uh, if you are not aware of Slack, I'll share some tips on um, how you can join that um, in just a bit. And so how can you contribute to the training team in Learn WordPress? Uh, we have um, five main areas of contribution. Um, and I'll just briefly go over all of these. Um, so starting on the upper left here, um, content creators are folks that focus on creating excellent content to host on Learn WordPress. So that covers workshops, lesson plans, tutorials, excuse me, and courses. So content creators work on all types of content. Um, as a matter of fact, we all work on all types of content, um, whatever we, um, you know, we feel like we would be best exercising our skills. Um, and next we have content translators. Um, content translators take the published English content and translate that into different locales. Um, we do have Margarita with us here today and, and who is one of our um, content translators. So thank you for the work that you do. Um, next, we have administrators. Those are folks that work behind the scenes to make sure that the training team works smoothly. Um, administrators focus on providing the other roles um, with the tools that they need to be successful and effective towards the training team goals. Um, so um, I do a lot of administrator work. Um, and yeah, I, I help folks come on board. Um, Next, we have subject matter experts. Um, these folks vet the topic ideas before content is created. Um, so they'll also work alongside the content creators acting as um, sounding boards for their ideas and helps them get the most recent and updated information in their content. And uh, finally, editors. Uh, these are the teammates that review content before it is published. Um, they also review published content and make updates as needed. Um, yeah, I would say I do quite a bit of editing as well. So, um, so my circles kind of overlap. Um, administrator, editor, content creator um, are probably the, the main areas that I contribute to on the team. Um, so this next table is our contributor ladder. Um, I'm not going to read every single um, cell here, but uh, this can give you an idea of um, where um, where the how excuse me <laughs> the contributor ladder looks um, for the training team, and you you can see all of the different roles uh, on on the top there, 
and uh, the stages of volunteering that you'll see all over the open source project. So, you know, starting with connecting, engaging, performing, then leading. And these are all the, the types of tasks that uh, each of these roles do that fall under the, the contributor ladder. Um, again, I'll be sharing these slides later. Uh, so you can take your time and view this and see if there's any particular tasks that, um, that interest you or that you feel like um, you would like to contribute to. Any questions so far? I know I've been just talking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nope, I didn't see anything in the chat. All right. Um, the next slide. All right, how you can contribute to WordPress. Um, for a good way to get started, or just, just come use the content. Um, and if you find any content that needs updating, um, let us know by reporting content errors. So we have um, a form you can fill out if you find any errors, um, if there's anything that's inaccurate, outdated, um, or if you'd like to you know, add some more insight to any of the content on Learn, um, you can go to this link and submit um, a content error report. Um, additionally, if you have um, content topic ideas, you can submit them. Um, if you're familiar with GitHub, we have a, um, a place on GitHub where you can submit, um, here's a template here, where you can submit ideas on GitHub. Um, these are the links that are on the slides too. Like I mentioned, that's a good way to get started if you want to contribute to learn. Um, but if you want to contribute to the training team, there are a few steps you can take. So first, you um, you know join join the training channel in the the Make WordPress Slack. Um, so if you're not um, aware of the Slack, you can join at chat.wordpress.org. Um, so this requires you to have a WordPress.org account um, to sign in. Um, I see a question in the chat. Can check what topics are actually and not repeat future proposed. So when folks um, submit ideas for, for content, um, that's the part of the, the vetting process that subject matter experts do. They'll check if, does this exist already? Is someone already working on this? Um, you know, do we have the up-to-date information for it? Um, so yeah, there won't be, uh, you know, with this process, there won't be any overlap, there won't be any conflicts, um, and it's okay to repeat content because sometimes, um, well, especially for online workshops, because we want to do them in different languages, we want to do them um, for different time zones uh, when we do them live, um, but um, for the other types of contact that contents that are more static, um, yeah, there there should not be any uh, repeats in that unless um, it's being um, majorly updated. Uh, thanks for that question. And so I'm uh, back to how you can contribute to the training team. Joining the WordPress Slack and joining the training channel is a good way to just kind of peek in and see what the team is up to. Um, they have weekly meetings um, and you can catch up on those asynchronously. And we even post about um, each meeting on the, the team blog um, that I shared earlier. Um, oh, I wanted to have this next slide up when I was talking about Slack. So if you haven't used Slack before, it's a, a chat program. You can run it in your web browser. Uh, they also have standalone apps for it. Um, and yeah, you can just visit the training channel um, and just participate in the conversations there. This is where we work on, um, do like the day-to-day -day work and share like our challenges, where we need help um, and yeah, even celebrate uh, our wins. So yeah, get involved with the community by you know just peeking in on, on team meetings um, and um, yeah, like I, like I said, this is just what it looks like. Um, I tend to use dark mode too. I know a lot of folks will see like a white screen. So if this looks different to you, it's because I chose this dark theme. Um, 
And next, uh, after joining the Slack, um, you can complete the training team's onboarding program. So this is something that we launched earlier this year. Um, and um, excuse me, I think I lost my link for that, but um, let's open that really quick. Here we go. Put that link in the chat for you. So that's the onboarding program. You can do that asynchronously at your own pace. Um, we are working on a kind of like a mentorship program. We're calling it the guide program that we're going to do for new contributors, um, where we will uh, that your guide um, will go through the onboarding program with you and uh, check in with you regularly um, to help you with your first contributions to the training team. So we're hoping to launch that maybe by the end of this month or early next month. And um, yeah, you can also keep an eye out for these sessions that we have um, on the meetup group. Um, they're always called Come Join the WordPress Training Team. So this is the next one that's coming up. Um, it is uh, late in the evening for me, but uh, we will we will try to run these onboarding live onboarding sessions in different time zones. So this one is more suited to um, the APAC time zones. Um, as you can see here, because I took this screenshot from my browser, it's at 9 p.m. for me, but um, I know it works. It'll work for a lot of other folks. Um, I think, oh, I do have the link here. You now we have some folks here with us today that are in the APAC time zone. So um, here's the link to that session if you'd like to, to join that um, on the 16th. Um, here we go. And yeah, we'll try to hold these onboarding sessions uh, frequently. So if you or anyone else you know are interested in doing a live onboarding session, uh, just keep an eye out for these sessions titled Come Join the WordPress Training Team. And finally, we have a, um, a page in the Training Team Handbook that includes some quick contributions that you can make now. Um, so that includes um, like some some contributions that will just take a, a few minutes of your time. Um, so again, I, I'm missing that link here, so I will pull it up now and share it in the chat. So once you've joined the Slack and gone through the onboarding program, you can go to quick contributions you can make now um, and make your first contribution. And another way you can contribute to the training team is applying to facilitate or present content. So if you want to facilitate or co-host an online workshop, you can apply to do that today. Um, so here's the link to that application. So this would be um, ap applying to present um, an online workshop. Um, and you you could also apply to just be a co-host. So oftentimes uh, we'll have folks that are co-hosting our online workshops. So, so for example, oh, well, I don't have a co-host here with me today, but um, a co-host would be there to monitor the chat, um, to answer, help answer questions um, or collect the questions to ask the host um, and just generally support the host um, during their online workshop. So this is being a co-host for an online workshop is actually a really great way to get started um, contributing um, to the to online workshops because you can see how the process goes. Um, so I would uh, encourage you to um, get started there if you're interested in eventually becoming a presenter. Um, and then um, we have this other application if you're interested in presenting tutorials, so the, the quick five to 10 minute videos on a specific topic, um, you can apply to present on um, yeah, any topic that interests you. And yeah, after you've been done a few contributions, maybe you really enjoy contributing to the training team and um, you want to step it up a bit. Uh, oops. Um, so we have the faculty program on the training team, which is a team of dedicated volunteers who work to achieve the goals of the, the training team and learn WordPress. 
So faculty members oversee five, the five areas of responsibility in the faculty program. Um, so that includes the administrators, the content creators, editors, subject matter experts, and translation coordinators. Um, the faculty members are folks that are dedicated members of the team to their, um, their areas of contribution. Uh, we have over 30 members in the faculty program. Uh, we started this program last year. Um, so it's been great to see that program grow. Um, if you're an experienced training team contributor, you can apply to join the faculty. Um, and again, I have a link here for you. Um, so I would love to help guide you all through your contribution journey for the training team. So if you ever have any questions at all, um, get in touch on the Slack, um, enjoy the training channel. I'm, you can find me in the Slack um, at, uh, I think my screen name there is uh, Courtney PK, of course. <laughs> um, so um, I also am on some social media platforms here, Mastodon and Twitter. Um, so if you want to get in touch there, please reach out. Um, yeah, and as I mentioned um, already, um, please get in touch if you're interested in, interested in contributing uh, to the training team. We would love to have you on board and guide you through your contribution journey. Um, and uh, yeah, it looks like we motored right through that content. Um, so I wanted to thank you all for, for learning along with us. Um, if you want to, to learn more, go to uh, learn.wordpress.org. Um, and uh, yeah, I just want to check if we have any questions. Um, see, we have a content or a comment. Um, yes, see, here, here's an example. So um, yes, you can have these slides. You can adjust them to, you know, to your needs. Um, you can use these resources that we provide on Learn WordPress to present to your local meetup. So yes, I'll share, uh, I'll share that with you um, after this. And um, yeah, we'll, I'll be making a recording of this and posting that to wordpress.tv, um, hopefully within the next day or two. So yeah, thank you everyone for being here. Do we have any more questions? I'll just uh, hang out a bit. But I also I think I'll stop the recording. <laughs>